Hi, my name is Linda Hopkins and I am the fifth district supervisor for the County of Sonoma. A little bit about me, I was actually born and raised in San Diego, um, went to high school there and then moved up to the Bay Area for college where I studied as an undergraduate creative writing and also environmental sciences. It was actually through the Earth Systems Program. So it was kind of an interdisciplinary environmental sciences policy development and problem solving major. Then as a master's degree, I went through the Earth Systems Program again, and this time focused on the communications of conservation issues and really kind of how to broadly express and convey to the public um, issues of environmental concern. So uh, with that, actually, after I graduated, I moved to Sonoma County with my then boyfriend, now husband, and started an organic farm. I also spent five years as a local journalist, and I also worked as the executive director for a local nonprofit, um, Sonoma County Farm Trails, that focuses on farm marketing and supporting our small family farmers. Um, then um, about five years ago, I had the crazy idea to run for elected office, and I ran and was elected to serve as Sonoma County's fifth district supervisor which has been truly the greatest honor of my life. Um, a little bit about what my day-to-day -day life is like. Oh my goodness, there is no such thing as a regular day in government. Um, if you're not familiar with county government, it's often a level of government that I think a lot of people overlook. So if you're an unincorporated resident, Sonoma County um, government is actually, you know, we're the folks who make sure that your potholes are filled, make sure that your roads are repaved, right? Have jurisdiction over land use decisions that are made in unincorporated areas. But if you're inside city limits, you actually have a city council who does that for you. And for you, then the more important role that county government plays is actually with the um, distribution of health and human services. So we actually do provide health services, including things like restaurant inspections, um, but also mental health services uh, through our uh, health services department at the county. And that applies both inside and outside of city limits. We also have human services, right? We're the folks who help make sure that folks are connected to state and federal, um, you know, eligibility opportunities that they might be, uh, you know, might have there going for them. For instance, if you are, you know, needing food stamps, if you are needing um, assistance with rental uh, payments, those are things that we can help you with in county government. So um, a little bit about the 5th District of Sonoma County. We are the largest district geographically and actually currently by population as well. The redistricting um, for the redrawing of boundary lines for supervisorial districts will actually happen later this year as part of our census process. But the 5th District spans from southwest Santa Rosa, including the Roseland area, um, and then all the way out to encompass the entire Sonoma County coastline. So it's like a really giant wedge and it includes some of the most rural, hard to reach areas, um, as well as, of course, Roseland, which I consider to be right there, the heart of Santa Rosa. Um, you know, a few of the questions that I was asked as part of this uh, career night is, you know, is there a future in this kind of work? There is always a need for folks to run for office. And so if you have an interest in helping your community, if you have an interest in serving your community, I would absolutely encourage you to put yourself out there and consider trying a run for elected office. You know, if you serve inside, if you live inside a city, you can serve on a city council. Um, anyone is eligible to serve on a local school board or potentially a fire board. Um, and then, of course, you have the opportunity to run for county supervisor or for two different types of state legislature, right? You could run for either assembly or the Senate. And then beyond that, of course, you can run, um, you know, to be potentially a member of Congress as a representative of our, one of our federal um, representatives here in Sonoma County. Um, in terms of recommending a specific university or a specific college, I really fundamentally believe that, you know, some of the best things about working in government aren't necessarily directly related to your education. I think it's really important, of course, to have, you know, an education that informs the decisions that you make. But I also think it's really important to just represent the interests of your community. You know, um, the Board of Supervisors, with one exception, um, has been all white since it was founded. The Board of Supervisors, with one exception, has always been majority male since it was founded. And we really need young folks to get involved. We really need women to get involved. We really need people of color to get involved in running for government because you can't um, sort of change the world unless you actually join the systems that you know really drive forward with those policies that ultimately impact every single one of us who live here in Sonoma County. Um, you know, there aren't specific educational requirements for being a politician, right? Anybody can run. Um, but I would say that what you need is a tireless work ethic and ability to, um, you know, really connect with other folks and also to care about them. At the end of the day, you know, this 
we, I think that many of us who are in this line of work work crazy hours, you know, sort of feels some days like 24 seven, 365. Um, but what keeps me going is knowing that every morning I wake up, I have an opportunity to change the world just a little bit. And um, I think that's what is most important in this line of work. So I hope you'll consider running for office one day. Um, and I hope that you will consider a future in government. And one other thing that I wanna mention is that if you're not interested in running for elected office, we do have more than 4,000 county employees who work for the County of Sonoma. And these folks are just the folks who keep our community going and um, the folks who take care of our roads, the folks who open and make our regional parks beautiful, right? The folks who are social workers and our public health nurses who take care of our community. So even if you don't necessarily want to be in the hot seat of elected office, there's also an opportunity to serve your community by working in county government. I hope you'll give it a consideration and you can email me if you've got any questions, lynda.hopkins at sonoma-county.org. Take care and I hope you all have a great day.